guys, today I'm going to show you how to bake a guinea pig. And I'm super excited to tell you that Rebecca from Leopard Gecko is actually going to be helping you learn how to groom and care for your guinea pig. So in today's video, you're going to be learning how to give them a bath, how to trim their nails, and how to care for long-haired guinea pigs. Now we're going to start by giving them a bath. And I found it really convenient to get one of these little baby bathtubs for my small animals to bathe. I really like it. So basically what I do is I turn off the air conditioner during this time. It just takes me a few minutes to give them a bath. I don't want them to catch a chill and I don't want it to be cold for them. So I like for the air to be off for a few minutes while I bathe them. So I have this that I'm going to fill up with water right now. And then I have uh, this shampoo. And the one that I'm using is uh, Burt's Bees Baby. But you can use a guinea pig shampoo. Cupcake here has been a little sensitive at times. So I'm going to go ahead and use this one for her. And then uh, I also have some nail trimmers for later. And then of course a towel for when I'm going to dry her. So let's get started. we can move on to grooming their hair and Rebecca will show us how that's done. When I'm going to groom the guinea pig I make sure it's on a platform that's not very high off of the ground. Usually my guinea pig will stay still so that's actually kind of handy but there's plenty of room here for him. The equipment I use, the very well used brush, this seems to work quite well. 
Um, I then have trimmers and I'm not very experienced with using trimmers and although I won't cut to like 9mm short, I always keep the plastic on just so I feel like I know what I'm doing. <laughs> Then I have these scissors and these ones are designed for dog and horse grooming, specifically for around their eyes, that's why the end is blunt. And I feel that's just the safest option for guinea pigs, especially if they start flinching and jumping about. And then of course, because I'm dealing with long hair, I have these fancy little clips for the guinea pig. So this is Dougal, and what we're going to do first is brush through all of his hair to get rid of any of the little tangles. Hopefully there shouldn't be many. Okay, so a good way to distract your guinea pig whilst this is happening is to give it food. Most of the time I find if I do the front bits of the hair, he might flinch and stuff. Most of the time though, he's not hurt, he's just doing it to flinch. The worst area to try to trim is around the butt because obviously when they pee and poop, it can sometimes get stuck. The poop isn't so bad, but the pee is more of an issue with him. So now I'm just gonna go around and give it all a trim. Now, if I was using the trimmer, and I sometimes do it for these parts, I just sort of, sometimes it just works better. I don't think that makes sense, but it just works better to use a trimmer sometimes because when I cut with scissors, it's a quite, quite a blunt cut. So, as you can see, I don't actually use the short bit or anything as a guide. I just <laughs> go ahead with it. I don't know if you can tell by now, I'm not a professional at this. I've never, had any training in grooming animals, um, so I am just your average guinea pig owner with a long haired guinea pig. So this is how he looks. Now obviously when I do his hair, I only really trim it, I never do anything drastic. I put a little bow in there because it's cute, but I obviously take that out before he goes back in the hutch. But this is how he looks afterwards. Thanks for watching and be sure to check out Rebecca's channel, Leopard Gecko, which will be linked at the end of this video and in the description of this video. You can follow us both on Instagram for constant updates on the animals. Thanks for joining us. Bye!